the general rule of holding this in Spain is by living here for 10 years illegally. However, for some people, they can acquire the passport, the Spanish passport, between two years to five years. What about if I tell you there is one way to gain the Spanish citizenship just by living in Spain for one year? What? one year i'm enjoying the spanish sunny beautiful day and i just want to share this information with you stay tuned welcome to my channel motivated and inspired on this channel i share information based on personal experience and in-depth research if i haven't done enough research i'm not sharing it if you want to know more on immigration especially about spain and in the uk then please do make sure to subscribe to this channel now let's go straight into this method i'm talking about I have lived in three different countries for long, Ghana, Spain, and in the UK. And I will always recommend and say Spanish immigration is one of the best and quickest. In fact, it is so safe to even say the gateway to Europe is through Spain. Now, in many countries, acquiring a country's citizenship can be really, really hard, even by marriage. In the UK, it is still five to six years to acquire this. But here in Spain, if you are married to a Spanish citizen in any part of the world and you live here in Spain for one year only, you are qualified to apply for the Spanish citizenship. Yes. What documents are required? Need. Number one, you need to write and pass the Delhi A2 exams, which is the Spanish language. I mean, Spanish for me is a sexy, romantic language, so it's easy to learn. And it can be challenging at some point, especially if you're an English speaker, but I told you, you will pass this. And then you also need to pass the CCSE exam, which is the Spanish cultural. So of course, you want to claim citizenship of a country you need to know a little bit of the country so definitely you need to sit and pass that exam you will also need to attach your birth certificate and that of your spouse then you need to attach your passport which must be very valid at the time of submission you also have to submit a background check on you that is criminal background check on you you will have to do it in the your previous country that you resided five years normally and if you have lived in spain before you got married a number of years that you will need to do it in spain and you also need two most important documents el padron that is the registry of your address which must be registered in the name of your spouse and yourself because one of the proof or evidence of marriage is living together so if you are not registered in the same address then you cannot apply for this regardless of the fact that you have a marriage certificate and then you also need to attach your marriage certificate to prove that yes we are legally married and like i mentioned earlier on you can marry at any part of the world but when you are in Spain, you have to register the marriage in Spain. And that is the document you are going to use for this application. You also need to prove sufficient means of sustaining yourself. And you can do that by using um, your bank statement or your income, that's your salary income statement. And it must prove that you do have enough. How much is expected of you to have? You are supposed to have one 50% of the IPRAM, that is IPREM. In this case, for me, it makes sense. 150% might seem a lot, but it does make sense. Why? Because it's a citizenship which has no expiring date. So I think it is really fair. The next document that you are being required to add to this application is your residency card. So when you get married, if you are not having um, residence before, then you will need to use your marriage that is marriage certificate to apply for a residency 
So that's the first step. I have already covered on how to get married and how to apply or use your marriage certificate to apply for a residency already. I did that with Parehadi Echo, but it's the same requirements. And I'll put uh, another video of that at the end of this week. So you have all the necessary information you need. Finally, this application is not free, but really to compare it to other countries it is really free and it is really really cheap i'm telling you why because you're going to pay only 100 euros in the uk it is thousand and they keep increasing that so i find it very 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 cheap it's 100 euros 100 euros only to get this book that comes with uncountable numerous benefits man I love Spain for so many reasons. And these are all the documents that you do need. How long does the process take? It takes six to one year to have your citizenship. However, I've witnessed cases that it took up to two years. So be patient, enjoy yourself, keep your fingers crossed, and you're going to be Espanola, Espanol very, very soon. I do hope I've given you all the necessary information you need towards applying for your citizenship through marriage. Now, if you do need any more um, information, please do comment, okay? Do comment and I will share any information that I do have. But this is it for this video. Like I will always say, be you, be bold, do whatever you want to do, say whatever you want to say as long as you are not hurting anyone, but most of all, stay motivated and inspired. And I will see you in the next video is adios. Mm, it's a very sunny day. Stay motivated and inspired.